Hello ladies and gentlemen. First of all, welcome and thank you for your interest in Katia Magic product. Today I have prepared a short demonstration about the new feature called UI widgets that will be available with Katia Magic 2021X Tools Portfolio release. Previously, if you wanted to create some sort of dashboard, you needed to create graphical user interface elements in a user interface modeling diagram, assign them to the simulation configuration, and execute this element. So this is what you see now on my screen. With 2021X version, we introduced a new spin in this approach. That is now you are able to create interactable graphical elements called widgets that can be directly used in your SysML internal block diagram. Now I will open this type of diagram and will add some widgets into it. Today I will be using included widget library, but also if you find it limiting, you can create and use your own widgets. To be able to use the included widget library, firstly, I need to load it into the project. So this is what I'm going to do now by utilizing use project functionality. By default, included widget library is hidden in your model tree as you probably do not want to see it all the time. So do not forget to enable auxiliary resource option if you cannot find it. As in my model, I want to replicate vehicle dashboard. Firstly, I will select to use gauge widget for the car speed monitoring. I need to give it a name and connect its port to the speed value property with binding connector. By the way, do not forget to give a name to your widget. This is required. Let's add another widget. And this one is also going to be a gauge widget. But this time, it will be used for revolutions per minute monitoring. Process of using it is exactly the same as the previous one. Select it, drag and drop it into a diagram, give it a name, and connect its port to the value property. Let's add a third widget. This time, it should represent turn on or turn off of a vehicle. So for that, I'm going to use toggle switch and connect it to the boolean value property. As always, do not forget to give a name. Finally, I will add the last widget for displaying gear numbers. For this, I will be using 7 seg widget and this will represent 7 segment display screen. Once again, I will give a name to it and connect with binding connector to the wanted value property. Now, my internal block diagram is ready and I can execute it. I will be using pre-configured simulation configuration for my model execution, but widget functionality can work without it. Just in this case, simulation web server must be active. As you can see now, this widget became active and displays properties values. So in diagram, I can observe them or I also can change them. For example, I will switch toggle position from off to on. Also, I can send signals in my internal block diagram to invoke additional behavior. In this case, widgets are used to represent model element values together with the changes that depend on model behavior progression. All right, so this is UI widget functionality and I displayed a sneak preview of it. Remember, this feature will be available with the upcoming Katia Magic Model Analyst 2021X version. I hope this was interesting. Cheers and goodbye.